So from here, do a point. <coughs> and that plane, that plane, and that plane. So now it's on that edge here. It's on this edge. Right? And so that edge is perpendicular to that surface. So now I can actually measure, measure straight out. So now I'm going to do a plane from here to that point. Yeah. And now I can do my, my one inch out. So I'm going to grab that, come out the one inch. Now I do a point from there to the bottom to the side. There's my corner. Now I can do a new plane. Pick my incline. Pick my dot. That's where that plane should be. Okay. Does that make more sense? Don't don't know the difference. <laughs> do it this way. <laughs> you have to be able to measure on that because when I projected that point back, that wasn't really where that plane was crossing my side, right? point here, that's not on this plane. So that can't be one inch in front of this plane. Cause, see, if that's a one inch line, it's more than an inch from that. So that's why we want to make sure you find the intersection correctly. Okay. Questions? Yeah. So if you want to Make the plane go, you go to plane, click on it, and drag it the direction you want it to go. Whichever way it is, so if I was going this way, and it started out with a negative number, I'd make sure you keep the right negative number. If you change the positive, it's going to go the other direction. And if you want to go to a point, just click plane, the plane you want to be parallel to, and the point that you want it to go to. 